Hello, welcome back to our first playthrough of Satisfactory. Last episode, um, we've got the space elevator up and running. We started production of these smart plates. Um, we started our production of reinforced iron plates. Um, but our ratios are wrong. I don't want to fix that yet, but, and this is going to happen a lot as, as things get set up. So, coming from the mine into the smelter, it's 30 ore per minute out of the mine, 30 ore per minute into the smelter, making 30 ingots per minute. And that's all pretty self-explanatory. But, it's only 15 ingots per minute coming into the constructor to make the iron rods. So what that means is this is capable of putting out 30, but it's not moving because this is only capable of taking in 15. So what will, what I'm going to do off camera, and I'm doing it off camera because if I just keep rearranging everything every episode, we're never going to progress. So off camera, I'm going to split this off I'm going to have two machines making iron pipes. I'm going to have, so this is 15 per minute coming out of here. This takes 10 per minute. So if I split that off, two constructors at 15 per minute making iron pipes means that I can have three constructors making screws at 10 per minute each. So our output will be 120 screws per minute, which will then allow us to actually be at full capacity here building the rotors because it can take in 100 screws per minute. And right now we are only giving it uh, 40 screws a minute. So our rotor production is a lot slower than it should be because of that. Um, so our iron pipes, once again, 15 per minute. Coming into here, take it in at 20 per minute. So if we split off once again with the ratios, 30 coming out of here, but only 15 coming out of here. If we split it off and have two constructors making iron pipes going into here, yes, our conveyor is still going to be at a standstill, but with the screws and the iron pipes upgraded, this will be operating at its max maximum efficiency for now until we get overclocked, etc., etc. So I will make that change off camera um, and very similar with the screws coming up here we could be making a lot more screws than we are but that's gonna take some rearranging and some fiddling down there so over here we have 33 we need 50 to launch the rocket or the space elevator so that will be coming in the meantime and that'll be coming probably in the next 10 minutes in the meantime, let's see what we can do as far as launching this rocket. Let's see what we need, what, what we can gather. So, jump pad we're going to get. I'm, not, I'm less worried about that right now. The awesome sink and the awesome shop we need sooner rather than later. But this is what I really want. So we need 50 reinforced plates, 200 concrete. We have the pipes and we need another 70 iron plates. So let's gather this stuff up. Let's send the rocket up. In fact, I'm gonna get a notepad here. I'm gonna gather everything we need to do all of this. So 
So I need to get 50 of those. I'll get a stack of concrete. And I'll get a stack of iron plates. Then... I need 500 wire. I need two stacks of concrete. I need two stacks of iron plates. that four stacks of iron plates and 50 rotors and 150 wire or cable I'm saying wire the wires the copper the cables the black okay so let's go shopping wrong way Let's start up top because we need to get rotors and reinforced iron plates. I also need to look at our iron plate production there. I feel like it's not enough. So this is the reinforced iron plates. I need 50, we only have 51. And this is the rotors over here, I believe. Yep, those are the rotors. Okay. One up here. Oops, missed. So, concrete. I need to do stacks. Then uh, that's screws, I believe. This is. I don't think I needed any pipes. Iron plates I needed. Oh gosh, I don't have enough for everything. I'll do this for now. Why aren't there any screws coming in here? Hold on. What has happened? Uh. I'm gonna go back to that. Now. You not hooked to electricity? Are none of you hooked to electricity? Oh, you're wired there. Electricity's working. Okay, you're moving. You're not moving because you're full. 
Why aren't you moving? Oh, because it backed that up. Back that up. That's at a hundred. That's at a hundred. So because that's backed up, that's backed up. No, because that's moving. What am I missing here? You're at 100, you're backed up. Are you really on standby? Because... So confused. Let's see if... So what if I take those? Does everything start moving again? No. Are you not hooked to power? says that you are. All of this is hooked. What am I missing here? So it's clearly not a power issue. What am I missing? Ingots coming in here. Iron ingots, iron rods. That's a recipe, it's set. Iron rods, screws. That's a recipe, it's set. Conveyor belt, into there. So the problem is with this machine. What 
What has happened? Why is it on standby? Is that really the solution? Yep. I don't know why that was on standby. Nope, that guy's not on standby. You must not be on standby. What else is on standby now? Now I'm concerned about what's on standby. You are not on standby. You are just being held up by... You're going... You're making screws. That's good. And those screws are going out. All right. Problem solved. Let's go launch this rocket. Get on with it. Sorry about that. I knew it was something that was obviously blatantly easy, and I was missing it. So let's launch this puppy. Improved versions of conveyor belts and conveyor lifts are now accessible. To encourage additional verticality, conveyor poles now have a stackable variant. Bye, Rocket. Let's see what we can do in our MAM. So we just need some wire. Do I have any ingots on me? Can I make some wire? We can get that MAM research out of the way. Yes, I can. It's a five minute research, that's fine. Okay, that research is going. While we're here, let's check our biofuel. It's at about the halfway point. That's way below halfway, so I need five of those now. I need five stacks. Cannot, cannot, cannot wait for coal power. Seriously. And we're not going to have enough to pop one of these off, but. Um, that and where is the wood? One wood. All right, let's.
Let's go. We'll launch the space elevator. We have our 50 smart plates. We do have 50 smart plates. So we are not efficient, but we are working. Can I put it in there from here? Yes, I can. Later, Gator. That's cool. Tier five and tier six. So now you need five hundred smart plates. You need versatile framework, and you need automated wiring. So we're clearly a minute away from that. Clearly, clearly, clearly a minute away from that. So 150 wires, 150 cable and 500 wire. You are a thing that should not be. So this comes in. I mean, it's moving steadily. This guy's putting out 30 per minute. This guy's taking in 30 per minute and putting out 20 per minute. So every three seconds. I guess it just is what it is for now. Um,
milestone reached, you have been given early access to the anti-waste effort for stress testing of materials on exoplanets bonus program. Following parts into the awesome resource sink, depending on their amount and complexity, will grant you coupons in the awesome store, which can be exchanged for bonus rewards. Examples of bonus content are parts, walls, factory attachments, and cosmetics. Fixit is working hard to develop additional options, which will be added to the awesome store in the future. Okay. Go that extra kilometer. Go awesome. So now, what do I want to make? For now, that I can just scrap into the awesome sink. And the answer is... It needs to be something, but it's... How is the copper production? What if I would... Alright. So this guy's just making ingots that do nothing. All right. Um, what if we make wires or something? That we just put run right into the awesome sink. So we We run another splitter off of this guy. And we um, put our elevator back. Then we run another smelter smelter yeah we run another smelter right here Q instead of W when I want to move.
have things in my inventory. This guy, get that guy there. All right. And so now coming from there, we run a constructor. Oh, const just a constructor, simple constructor. Right there. We, uh, wear him up. We set him to make I'll bet you the copper sheets. Probably. Um. Approaching other device. Alright, well, we're gonna do it the old school way then, because I'm not gonna stand here and play with this for 20 minutes. Hello, cave that I don't want to get near right now because I can't mess with whatever's in there. Okay. And then I probably can't even build it. Nope. 15. Well, while I'm looking at that, I need screws. Screws and cement. And I'm going to have to... I'm going to bring that other um, concrete or limestone in between episodes. I know all this needs to be re redesigned. I know that it's not efficient. I know that I didn't give myself enough room, but in some ways that's all part of the learning process too. So what I'm gonna do actually, actually, is I'm going to put him there. Put 
this there. And this way, if I need to dump stuff. If I did it right. Once again, it's a big if. Not in standby. No power. Huh. <laughs> Moron. Okay. Well. There we go. There we go. Just out of curiosity, how much are we going to get for a copper sheet? Not exactly uh, setting the world on fire, is it? Should we retool? Get for wire. So we get six per? Ah. Uh, we get more per minute. Right? This is going to do 30 per minute. Two wires, 30 per minute. So this is going to give us 360 points per minute as opposed to the copper sheet that was giving us 120 points a minute is that right I don't know now that this is in use the ore is moving at a better pace so I'm happy about that and then the awesome shop I'm going to put sort of be out of the way. I'm going to put the awesome shop. It's just tiny. This is where we can buy all of our goodies. And I want these. Four. Five, 
Anyhow, so. I'm sure that the rocket is back. Rocket ship. Want that. Too short, really. Really, really. Milestone reached. Several buildings aimed at factory traversal can now be accessed in the build menu. Caution is recommended during use of these products. You know we gotta try it, right? What's special? Wants to be powered. Oh no, that's at the wrong angle, isn't it? That's gonna kill us. Eh. How does it work? So I don't feel like I'm about to jump into it? Oh, didn't the power connect? What happened? Now it's powered. Yeah, that's at the wrong angle. <laughs> Clearly at the wrong angle. Is 
Do I have to jump at it or can I just run? Why didn't you build? Although I suppose... I'll get it. I'll figure this out by God if it kills me. So jump pad construction is another one of the things to put on the list of things that I am just not good at. Okay. Nope. Mouse slipped. Mouse pad's a mess. Alright. You have to be running at it. I don't know. I don't know, I don't know. Okay, enough playing. Don't you dare. So, rocket's back. Tier 3. Coal power. Yes, please. 150 reinforced plates. That's going to be a minute. The tractor, the truck station, and more inventory slots. We need to build these reinforced plates and then foundry can be automated by feeding ore into it with a conveyor belt connected to the inputs the product the produced ingots can be automatically extracted by connecting the conveyor. so what's the difference between a foundry and a smelter Smelts two research. Oh, I should keep reading. Steel ingots. So foundry is what would make steel. Steel beams, steel pipes. Okay. So 
the first thing that we need to shoot for is the coal power. That's going to give us a lot of stuff that we need. It's going to give us coal on the scanner. So that is what we will go for uh, next episode. We will send the rocket up. We will get access to the knowledge for coal power, and we will go look for coal. Anyhow, I'd like to thank everybody for watching, and please have a great week.